Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make another YouTuber statue. This time, I'll be showing you how to make a Lachlan statue. By the way, just in case you have any more YouTube related needs, feel free to check out the God System and the link below down in the description for my YouTuber statue tutorials playlist. There are quite a few of them in there. I'm sure that you guys will be able to find something that you liked. However, now that all of that's out of the way, if you want to make Lachlan, here's what you're going to need. You will need some cyan stained clay and some white stained clay. Grab black stained clay and some black wool, dark grey wool, white wool, red wool, light blue wool and luckily for us all we need to finish off this set of colours is yellow wool and once you have each one of those and once you've figured out what you want to make him, I'll be making him right here. You're going to want to kick off your Lachlan statue with a row of eight white wool in a row on the floor. That's eight white wool. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Just like that. And once you have your row of eight white wool, this is what you want to do for row number two. Do an entire row of black stained clay. So left to right, black stained clay. For the next row, going from left to right, do one black stained clay, two white wool, two black clay, two white wool, one black clay. For the next row, do one dark grey wool, two black clay, two dark grey wool, two black clay, one dark grey wool. For the next seven rows, do seven solid rows of dark grey wool. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And now all we have to do are just fill in each one of these individual rows with our dark grey wool. We've just got a couple left to do now. It's actually going faster than expected. We've just got this last one to add and there we go. Seven rows of eight dark grey wool. For the next row, do uh, four white wool in the four cent spots of your row and then do cyan stained clay everywhere else. For the next two rows, do this sequence of blocks. Do one red wool, one black stained clay, four cyan stained clay, one black clay, and one red wool. And like I said, that's for two rows. So once you've got that first row figured out, do the exact same thing to the row just above it, like so. For the next row, do four black stained clay in the four cent spots of your row, and then do red wool everywhere else. For the next two rows, just do two solid rows of red wool, like so. For the next row, going from left to right, do five red wool, one, two, three, four, five, then do one cyan clay, then two red wool. For the next row, do two red wool, one cyan clay, two red wool, one black wool, two red wool. And now for the next five rows, do two red wool, one black wool, two red, one black, two red. Like I said, that's for five, so that'll be the first, and then we just have second, third, fourth, fifth, and I'm just going to add all of the red in here before I add in all of the black. So let me just add in all of the red wool here, and now we've just got these two rows of black wool to do, and once you've added in those five rows, you have actually completed Lachlan's torso. All we have to do now, once you've reached this point right here, is do his arms. So, let's start with the right arm first of all. So come all the way up to the top right hand corner of your statue. You're looking for this red wool that we have right here, nice and easy to find. Going right of this red wool, do a row of four red wool, coming out of the right hand side of the statue. So that's one, two, three, four, like so. Underneath this row of four, do four rows of red wool coming down. So that's one, two, three, four, whoops, four, and then just fill in all of those rows. So in total, including the first one, you want to have five rows of four red wool. Underneath your red, you then want to do two rows of black stained clay. So that'll be one and two, just like that. And to finish off his arm, you now want to do five rows of white stained clay. So that's one, two, three, four, Five, just like that. So just fill in five rows of white stained clay. And what you want to end up with is something that should look exactly like this. Once you've got that first arm taken care of, we can now move on to the second arm. So coming over to the left hand side now, starting from this top left hand corner block, we start off with a row of four red. One, two, three, four. Then we do our four rows of red coming down. So that's one, two, three, four. Just like that. So one, two, three. 
We then do our two rows of black stained clay, so that would be one and two. Then we finish off the armor with our five rows of white stained clay, so that's one, two, three, four, five. And one, two, three. Boop! There we go, guys. That is the entire front of the statue, minus the head, of course. So once you've reached this point right here, once you've got his legs, torso, and arms completely taken care of, we can now move on to the next part, which is going to be the back of our statue. So come all the way around to the back of your statue, and come all the way down to the bottoms of the feet. What you basically want to do is take out your white wool and extend each bottom corner of the statue out of the back of the statue, each by three with your white wool. Kind of like this. One, two, three, and one, two, three. Just like that. So you want two rows of three. You then want to connect each one of those third blocks together, just like this, to form a U shape. And this is just the entire base of the statue. What we're now going to do is build up on top of these eight back blocks that we have right here. We'll build up the entire back of the statue, very much how we just did the front of the statue. Then we'll do the sides, then we'll do the head, then we'll be done. So, for the second and third row of the back of your statue, you actually want to do black stained clay. So, for the next two rows on top of this eight row of white wool that we have right here do two rows of eight black stained clay so that'll be one and two just like that on top of that back row you then once you have your two rows of black stained clay want to do eight rows of dark gray wool so that's one two three four five six seven eight and now we've just got to fill all of those in so that's two three four five six seven and eight nice and simple once you have your eight rows of dark gray wool you then want to do an entire row of cyan stained clay just like that and that's the back of his belt there now to fill in the rest of the back of the statue it's actually really easy all you have to do is take out your red wool and you just have to equal the height of the front of your statue and then you just have to fill the rest of the back of your statue in with red wool not including the backs of the arms of course so in total you want to have how many will this be this will be 12 rows of red wool however you really don't have to count it you just have to look at the front of your statue and just apply it to the back just like this to give you this that's the majority of the back of your statue 100% completed. That's a lie, it's not 100%, I'd say it's about 70. Once you've reached this point right here, all we have to do now are the backs of the arms. So once you have done that, all you have to do for the backs of the arms is pretty much exactly what you did for the fronts of the arms, except just on the back of your statue. So in the exact same position, using the exact same blocks, just copy what you did on the front of your statue. This requires no explanation whatsoever, guys. Trust me, it is much easier to look at the front of your statue and copy exactly what you did in the relevant position on the back which is exactly what i am doing guys that is exactly what i'm doing and i'm doing it very quickly as a matter of fact i've just completed the second arm and in doing that i have now completed 100 percent of the back of the statue so once you guys have filled in the back of the statue, which is very easy, shouldn't take you too much time whatsoever, pause this if necessary, of course, but once you have completely got that taken care of, we can now move on, and we're going to do the sides, so once you have done that, come all the way over to this side of the statue, and come all the way down to the bottoms of the feet. So, the way that we're going to fill in the side of the statue, it's actually really easy, it doesn't really take much of a strategy at all, because all we have to do to fill in the side of the statue is basically just match the colour that we have on the left and right hand side of us or on the front and the back of the statue so for instance where we have dark gray on the front and the back of the statue you just want to match that color and place it in between the front and the back like that where you have cyan stained clay do the same thing where you have dark gray clay what is the color called black stained clay there we go where you have black stained clay you do the same thing all the way up the side of the statue so there the side of the legs completely taken care of just using the strategy that i described moving all the way up to the arms you just first of all want to fill in the bottom of the arms with white stained clay like this and then you want to proceed to do the exact same thing that you did for the sides of the legs so where you have white stained clay use white stained clay where you have red wool red wool where you have black stained clay use black stained clay and when you get up to the top of the arm the strategy is no different you just want to fill in by three the top of the arm with red wool so one two three coming towards the center both of those rows you can do more don't do any less than three otherwise you'll end up with holes in your statue and what you want to end up with for the side of your statue is something that should look exactly like this nice and easy as you guys can see and of course once you've got that taken care of on one side you now want to 
do the exact same thing on the opposite side and this really doesn't require any explanation whatsoever does it guys because this is this is just extremely simple we're just doing the exact same thing that we just did on that side and even beyond that i mean this is just really simple we're matching colors who who can't match a color i'm sure you can even I can. If I can do it, you guys can do it. Remember that. So, we're just filling in this side of the statue here, and then we're just filling in the top of the shoulder, and BAM! There we go. That is the second side of the statue, 100% fully completed. So, once you guys have reached this point right here, once you've got the front, the back, and the sides of the statue completely taken care of, we can now move on to the next part, which is the head. So, come all the way around to the front of the statue, and come all the way up to the top of the torso. Take out your white stained clay, and on top of the eight middle blocks of the torso stack a row of eight white clay directly on top like that once you have that first row of eight white stained clay you then want to do two additional rows in front of it coming out of the front of the statue so that's one and that's two just like so and what you then want to do in this second row of white stained clay that we just placed, knock out the two middle blocks and replace them with black wool, just like that. But it's easier to knock it out and replace it than build it into the row. Once you have done that to your row, we can now focus on building the face, which will be directly on top of this most outward row that we have here. So, for the second row of the face, do an entire row of white stained clay. Then for the next two rows, going from left to right, do one white stained clay, then one white wool, one light blue, two white clay, one light blue, one white wool, one white clay. And like I said, that's for two rows. So once you've got that taken care of for one row, do the exact same thing just above it. Now for the next row, place a single yellow wool on the ends of your row and then do white stained clay everywhere else in between, like that. Then for the next three rows, do three solid rows of yellow wool. So this will be one, two, and three, just like so, to give you the face of your Lachlan statue. Nice and easy, guys. I know that it doesn't look right now, but don't worry, we'll be taking care of that later. You know what, shall we take care of this now? We're here, aren't we? Why don't we take care of this now? So once you've got the base face taken care of, you now want to do this with your yellow wool. And you know what, this is actually easier to kind of just do, and then show you guys what this thing should look like. It's it's one of those things where it's, it's difficult to explain the shape, and it's difficult to describe, but it's really really easy to see what you have to do when you actually look at it. It's like a really, really wonky staircase. It almost look, looks like kind of like a penguin's beak or something, but that's what you want to do with your yellow wool directly in front of the head, and that is, of course, just his hair sweeping down there in front of his face. And that's all you want to do for the face, guys. So once you've done that for yourself, obviously, pause this if necessary, apply it for yourself. Once you've got that taken care of, we can now move on to the rest of the head, which is also quite easy. So come all the way around to the back of the head, take out your white stained clay and starting from this first initial row of white stained clay that you placed ever so slightly earlier you want to do three rows of white stained clay coming out of the back of this row so that's one two three like so and continuing pulling back you then want to do two rows of yellow wool so that'll be one and two coming out of the back and that is all you want to do in regards to those rows so once you've done your three white two yellow you now want to come to the side of the head here so starting from going left of this white stained clay that we have right here you want to do a three white stained clay coming left towards the back of the head one two three like that you then want to place a white stained clay in the corner here just like that. So you kind of like formed a sideways L shape like this. Then on top of this third white clay that we placed ever so slightly earlier, do this sequence of blocks. Do two yellow, then two white clay coming up. And what we're basically placing there is Lachlan's ear. That's that's all we've got. And of course, a little bit of the side of his head. He has a lot of hair. It covers most of his head as we most do. Anyway, once you've got that side of the head completely taken care of, you now want to move on to the opposite side of the statue and do the exact same thing here. So quite literally doing the exact same thing. Uh, just looking at what we just did on that side, you uh, just want to copy what you did on that side of the statue onto this side of the statue. And whilst it does look weird now, it won't in just a moment. So once you've got that taken care of for both sides of the head, you now want to come all the way to the back of the head. You want to take each one of these back two corners, raise them up so they are equal height with the face of your statue just as I have done here connect them to the front of the statue also connect them to each other 
And once you've connected everything together, once everything is a nice family unit, you should end up with a nice empty cube shape. All you have to do to completely finish the statue from here on out is just completely fill in the head with yellow walls. So right side, left side, back side, top side. All cuts of beef, I believe, but also applies to the head. So you just want to fill every single one of these sides in with yellow wool. And once you have done that, like I've said, probably once already, at least once, we will then have a 100% completed Lachlan statue. So we're just now filling in the top of the head. I feel as though we're going to bump into his hair, his uh, sweepy, sweepy hair. And we're placing yellow wool everywhere that it doesn't belong right now. And there we go. So once you have 100% completely filled in the head, you should end up with a statue that should look a little bit like this. And here he is, guys. This is your Lachlan statue, 100% fully completed. We've got the UI off. We're going to take a nice 360 degree view revolution around him to have a bit of a look at the statue. He's a nice looking statue, guys. I wasn't actually aware that this guy existed. As with... Many YouTubers that I do, actually, there are a lot of Minecraft YouTubers out there much bigger than I am that I have just never heard of. It's unbelievable. It's really is unbelievable. You'd think that I'd hear about these people, but hey, that's how it goes. That's why I have you guys. You let me know about these. I do like the skin, although it is quite a simple skin, but nice to look at, very easy to make, and very easily added to your collection. Easily? Is that a word? I don't know. I probably just made up. But yeah, nice cool looking statue. Um, colourful enough. Red's my favourite colour. It's uh, it's kind of easy to get me involved in anything that's mainly red. So hopefully you guys like this statue. Hopefully you managed to make it no problem. If you guys did like this video, I would really appreciate it. If you would help me out, give me a like, favourite, share, anything you feel like doing to help me out. I really do appreciate it. I really love it when you guys help me out. If you have any more suggestions, suggestions for any other YouTubers, feel free to leave those down in the comments. I have quite a few more coming up. And as always, if you have any more YouTuber statue related needs, feel free to check out the card system and the link below down in the description for my YouTuber statue tutorial playlist. There's like over 30 of them in there, probably close to 40. I'm sure that I've probably made some of your favorite YouTubers and you just didn't know it. So thanks for watching guys and I will see you in the next one.